Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another Spider-Man Mars Morales video and a helpful sort of video for those who are trying to get the Platinum Trophy for Mars Morales. You will have to collect all trophies possible in the game and one of those, the one that I actually spent the most time on, was getting a 100 combo. And that sounds pretty simple, you just need to not get hit for a long time. But the problem with Mars Morales and doing that challenge is that there are only a couple of instances where there are enough enemies for you to get a 100 combo. A lot of the time you'll get to 30, 40, maybe even 50 when you're stopping a crime, but then you run out of enemies, you'll complete the crime and your combo is gonna reset. And it doesn't matter how close you get, unless you get to 100, you're not gonna get the achievement, which I actually found out the hardest way. And I'll get onto that in a second because there is a very, very painful moment that I experienced when I was trying to get this trophy. But first off, where I completed it was the bridge scene. It's the mission that was featured in the gameplay reveal for the game. So you probably know which one I'm talking about. And this mission is kind of the best of both worlds because it's quite early on in the story. So you're not coming up against the big brute enemies. And those are the ones that will ruin you that you need to use specific powers on to help deal with them. Whereas here, all you've got to deal with are the underground soldiers with the large gauntlets and then a few guys with rifles in the background who will try and pick you off. Quite a big tip here is to not use your Venom powers and do not use any combo finishers. Or if you really need to, if you're feeling like you're getting overwhelmed, only use one or maybe even two because you're going to need to use every single hit on these enemies before they get knocked out to help you get to the 100 combo. My next little tip is about your camera placement. You don't need to manually move it while you're fighting but make sure to focus on the guys on the edge of the fight. If you go straight into the middle of a bunch of people, they will all attack you. It's a feature from Insomniac that means that you don't get hit by so many blind people coming off screen, but if you make sure that the big group of guys is actually behind the camera, then they're not gonna be the guys punching you. You may still get shot at, but you have a lot more time to dodge a few shots of a rifle than the amount of time you have to dodge a punch or a leap from one of the gauntlets. So you want to keep your camera only focusing on one or two enemies on the screen at a time so that you can be attacking one and then keeping your eye on the second one so that you'll be able to get a perfect dodge when they do go for you. If you go into the middle of everyone, they'll all start attacking very soon after each other and you'll really struggle to whittle down the numbers without using something like Venom Powers for crowd control. And with this mission, you start off with the gauntlet people and then just regular people using their normal fists. But after you've taken down a certain number of them, a few underground soldiers with their rifles will pop up onto the trucks on the outskirts of your little arena. And once they show up, you wanna go for them quite quickly, just cause it gives you a bit of distance from the regular soldiers. And then once you've got them taken out, you don't have to worry about gunfire at all. You can simply keep an eye out for the punches coming in. And the absolute heartbreak that I experienced here. I was playing through a new game plus and I was just restarting after each checkpoint because I knew that was the place where I would be able to get the closest to the combo. There is another moment in the final mission of the game. Before you face the tinkerer you're just going from rooftop to rooftop taking down underground and rocks on soldiers alike and I believe that you could be able to get a 100 combo from that. I didn't manage it myself but I do remember taking out quite a few enemies then getting hit and the combo being dropped and then still managing to get something like a 60 combo. So that is the other place that I would go if you don't want to try it on the bridge scene because the guys on the rooftops aren't the big brutes. Again, they're quite simple enemies. You just have to zip across the rooftops quickly so that your combo doesn't run out. But my problem on the bridge scene was that I used just one too many combo finishers and I got to my last guy with about a 92 combo and he went down in just a few hits and the cutscene started playing while I had a 97 combo. Of course it had ran out by the time we got back into gameplay and I couldn't believe how close I'd gotten. And that is why I have to stress, do not use Venom powers. Only use a combo finisher if absolutely necessary because you will regret it. I got to an 80 combo the first time playing through on New Game Plus. And then once I finished the story there, I went back to replay that mission purely to get the 100 combo. And that's where I hit 97. And then just after I got over 100. But I think that is all you need to know. Just to reiterate it once more, stay away from Venom powers, try not to use combo finishers, make sure that there's only a couple of enemies on your screen at a time so that you don't get overwhelmed and make sure to take out the guys with rifles as soon as possible because they're just going to be nuisances as your combo gets higher. But if this video did help you out, let me know down below and be sure to leave a like on the video. There'll still be more suit showcases on the channel and once I've gotten through every single suit, I will then do a ranking of them. But I want to add more videos, whether they are different Mars Morales videos or like the Mandalorian and Fallen Order mashup that I put out a couple days ago. A variety of videos in between the suit showcases and then we'll get to the rundown. But thank you very much for watching this video and hopefully I will see you next time.